So when we're working on a kit, if we come through and say replace the kick drum with our own sound, you'll see that a save option now appears from here. Now we can choose to save the kit, which is going to overwrite the kit that's already there, or we can choose to revert back to as it was originally. We can also choose to open our custom instruments folder, or we can rescan it if we can't find a kit for some reason. Okay, so we also have this master effects section here as well. Now this allows us to adjust a master filter and volume. So again, we've got low and high pass and also master volume. We can also choose whether we want the audio to continue when the plugin's closed or not. So when that's switched off, it won't continue playing when we shut the window down. Now, in addition to the hotkeys we have for each sound, there's also some hotkeys that relate to the interface. So first of all, if we use one, two, three on our computer keyboard, we can choose the edit pencil and magic record mode. Now, when we're using our magic record option, let's just go to the shaker, hotkey of Z, let's play. Now, in this case, once we've added something in, we can press escape. It's going to allow us to clear it. OK, so this is the same as it was for the other Captain plugins. So we can basically decide whether we want to copy and then paste different rhythms or different sections to other sections. And then we could make amendments from there to allow our track to develop. We can copy MIDI to clipboard. We can export the MIDI as a file. We can also clear, we can save, load. So it's the same options as we had for the other Captain plugins. Okay, so in the next video, we're going to have a look at actually making a beat using Captain Beat and creating some alternative arrangements for that beat and adding them into our Logic project. Thanks for watching.